four, round number four of the NGK Spark Plugs East, uh, NGK and NTK Spark Plug <laughs> Esports Cup. On our way down towards the kink at turn number one, Thompson's got away well here at the very front of the order. It's Tiba and Nolda who are the ones going side by side behind in through that very dangerous section of circuit. It's like everyone's been able to get away at least relatively well here in the initial stages of this race, although I think I've given it the curse of the commentator Tamos Sibon and others involved in an early instant there uh, pull away on the other side of things here's the instant that we saw at the very early stages that is involving the number 17 car back to the live pictures then you can see there's alexander tiber in that uh, in that purple car and uh, well he's just in a very pretty comfortable spot at the moment, all things considered. Tiber, I don't think he really has to be applying the pressure here uh, at the moment. Of course, you know, most of these drivers are very secure inside their top 40, so the qualification for the final race is not necessarily a massive concern, as we see a replay Ooh. of a bit of a tangle and a bit of confusion. He allows the drivers ahead of you to try and get away. Peters with a poor run coming through the kink here. Nolda might have an opportunity on the way down in towards turn two. Peters defending the inside line making sure there's no opening down into there. Nolder trying to sneak up underneath through the exit of the corner, try and get towards the outside, which will then give the inside for the cut through, which is, seems to be the best place to be at the moment. And uh, might be able to make a fight with it, uh, of it in these final seven minutes of the race, but Tiba gets a little bit of a slide on there through the sax curve, which is not ideal, especially with the, like we've already mentioned with the track conditions, it's gonna take some time for those tires to cool down after any sort of slide and any sort of energy. You can see with the onboard here at the moment with uh, Vince Peters, of course, you know, he, he tried to get involved in that fight. He was trying his very best to find, you know, some way through on the three cars that were going all side by side ahead of him. And actually, he might have an opportunity now on the inside in towards turn number two. Nolda will come across and give him a little bit of slipstream on the way down in towards the braking zone here. Peters was still a bit of an overlap into the braking zone. He draws himself alongside now through this first sector. The first corner they come, there's the look back from Nicholas Nolder here as, uh, you know, he can really, really feel the tension here at the moment. Possibly. Thieber is really playing the strategic game and see how he's going out of slipstream for the other guys in the back because he knows that he, they're, they're going to gain more slipstream than him pulling off. Final lap of things. Let's see if we're going to have a counter back from Thompson. I see it coming somehow in our favorite, in our favorite overtaking corners. Down the inside at the cut through. Do they go for a move move with anywhere else? Peter's gonna go for it. He's gonna send it down the inside of Nolder here. And it looks like, oh, he's just about been able to get that position done. Thompson looking to try and uh, get involved in this as well. Trying to find a way through Nolder. Nolder drives it hard in towards Mercedes. Thompson's able to try and get back underneath, but it's not the ideal positioning for this right-hander. So the situation's still not done. Peter's in second place, Nolder third, Thompson in fourth, but that still isn't guaranteed to be the order coming across the line here. There's a battle further back, Hafflinson and uh, Monty Lynn also uh, having a bit of a disagreement through the fast right-hander up onto the curb. The both of them go and in towards the Saks curve as well. It's still undecided in amongst uh, those uh, guys as we see at the further uh, towards the front of the field in that smaller box there, Thompson and Nolder wheel to wheel, door to door, up towards the line here. And it looks like Thompson's gonna be able to capitalize on that two tires into the gravel. But at the front, it's Alexander Tiber that takes the race win here. Here we go then, here's uh, your uh, unofficial results from race one. We've got Alexander Tiber by 1.1 seconds over Vince Peters, then Patrick Thompson, then Nicholas Dolder. That's the top four that were giving us a whole bunch of action uh, throughout that event. Then you got Alessio Benda, who uh, finishes in fifth with Michael Hafflitherson. The second race of the evening is underway here in the NGK NTK Esports Cup here at the Hoppen Hockenheim Ring for race meeting at number four. And it is Kagan Spark that leads them in towards the exit of turn number one. Big instant behind though, big slide. But who's that? It's uh, Michael Hafflitherson. And it's been an instant involving, I believe, Nicholas Nolder in this one as well. I believe we have no more drivers have issues. Oh. I shouldn't have said anything as we see cars spun around in the wrong direction. That uh, uh, was uh, 
let's see, uh, Dario Dills, we had Sarah Dove in the wrong direction as well, That's uh, uh, which uh, might be changing. Nope, in fact, they just go single file, but Ellen trapped on the outside here uh, for the final turn. Uh, is able to get clear and slot himself back in, and in fact, challenge Lin ahead in towards turn one, which is always a risky move. Basically a single line through there, and uh, uh, I'm always surprised to see drivers actually attempt that move. Here's the onboard with, uh, with John Ellen. Uh, who's uh, trying to track down those cars ahead. Battle's going on behind him as well. Two tires into the gravel is not exactly ideal. Well, it's obviously, you know, intriguing to see in terms of entertainment value. He's not going to do anything for the tires, though, because we still got... Uh, right. Attack tab! Oh, big, big moment. Big moment indeed for Nor Hendricks, who has a almost catastrophic incident coming in towards turn number one there, but somehow they're able to hold it. They didn't hit anything on the way. Uh, trapped on the outside there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, here's more replays as we see. That's what happened to Sarah Dove uh, on the way in towards the in towards the hairpin for the first time. Here we go. Down the inside, though, goes Bender. Barber having to try and defend on the outside here. Car spun in the middle of the circuit ahead. They both have to try and to avoid, which they do. That was Suzuko spun in the middle of the circuit. Sketchy situation from everyone involved there. You never want to see a car stranded in the middle of the circuit when you're going side by side with someone else. But uh, Bender looks like he's got, well, almost clear coming out of the corner there, but not quite. And Barber will actually get a little, gain a little bit of ground on the way down through the right-hander here. Barber trying to cut back in, but doesn't expect Gary Lynn to also be there to try and capitalize on this one as well. Side by side in towards the banked turn of the Saks curve then, as uh, Lynn on the outside trying to maintain this overlap here. If he does, at this point, then he has the inside for both the penultimate corner and the final corner, but a little bit too spooked about that. Decides to so, uh, so yeah, you can see it pulls out towards driver's left-hand side, actually able to keep up in this instance. And a oh, bit of contact between the two of them on the way down in towards the braking zone. Nolder attempting to go the long way around here in this battle for P14. Let's see how successful it is. Have to maintain that overlap to get the inside for this left-hander at Mercedes and is able to sling one down the inside there and get that position done. So Nolder uh, up into P14, of course, he would have been hoping for a bit more. And in fact, oh, the right turn just really doesn't <laughs> doesn't work out there uh, for Nolder. He just, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe that's a symptom of some of the damage that he's been dealing with where Maybe left turns are fine, but right turns, oof, that was a, that was a bit of a, a massive amount of oversteer. Now, it's only, what, a couple of corners to go now before this race is done. We'll get official word of that, of course. Fox around the outside at the Mobile One curve. Oh, he's going to get his nose chopped off. Coming towards the outside of the corner, into the braking zone for the Saks curve as well, as Aliu will be able to hold on, but Fox oh. gets tagged from behind. Thompson has to stop. To, let, to try and get through on that one. And all of a sudden, Bender and Barber pick up a couple of positions as a result. Drama Ouch. at the end of this one. Kagan Spark, despite the pace disadvantage, does hold on for a race win here in the second race of the evening. Kagan Spark across the line to take the win in the NGK NTK Esports Cup. You see uh, the official, unofficial race results here. Kagan Spark takes the race win. And he'll be very happy about that. It was very close, by the way, at the end. If, if we did go that extra lap, you know, I, I would have said that Peters probably wins this race. But, you know, thankfully it ended a little bit early um, for Spark's sake. So he does take the race win. Then Peters, then Adati round out your podium positions. Then you got Mergam Aliu in P4 with John Ellen P5. Alessio Bender, Mike Barber, Wansi Lin, 